นี่คือตัวอย่างของการทําเกษตรแนวตั้งหรือ vertical farming ครับตู้นี้นะครับมีทั้งกล้องมีทั้งพัดลมในการควบคุมสภาพแวดล้อมต่างๆแปลว่าอะไรจะไม่มีศัตรูพืชและที่สําคัญเลยยังมีการควบคุมก๊าซคาร์บอนไดออกไซด์ที่มีผลต่อการเติบโตของพืชและผักที่เราปลูกด้วยเห็นแบบนี้แล้วหลายคนสงสัยครับว่าตู้นี้จะทําให้ชีวิตเรายั่งยืนได้อย่างไรแล้วเทคโนโลยีต่างๆจะมาทําให้สิ่งเหล่านี้มีประสิทธิภาพมากยิ่งขึ้นได้อย่างไรวันนี้ผมมีคําตอบครับท่านผู้ชมครับตอนนี้ผมอยู่กับคุณซาชาครับคุณซาชาสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ So what is behind us right now? Um, behind us right now is a model of a vertical farm. Uh. Uh, vertical farm is something which uh, is driving at the moment uh, the agriculture, the mm. controlled environment, uh, because in a controlled environment we are able to reduce the consumption of water. Mm. We can control the growth of the plants. Mm. We can uh, work without pesticides. Mm. And we can also control when exactly the plants should be ready to harvest uh, for selling it in the supermarket. Um, it starts actually with the seeding, yeah? um, uh, according to the demand which, which is forecasted. So the pen point of the farming right now is, uh, is like a space, productivities and efficiency of the farming, or even the climate change or the environment that farm has, has to be grown. And at the end of the day, it plays a big role into the sustainability. Um, in a vertical farm, you have a, a up to 95% less water consumption compared to normal agriculture. In the same moment, uh, you have a very higher output because on one hand you have a vertical farm is stacking, and on the other hand, uh, with the control uh, of the temperature, of the water, of the lightning, you're able to produce more often in a vertical farm compared to normal land. And this is uh, playing into the sustainability. Um, the second important factor here is as well, um, when you are able to produce these plants on the point where the supermarket is really demanding it or where the consumer consuming it, you have way less uh, food, food wastage. And this is also a, a point which we uh, definitely can address with a vertical farm. I see, because in the real world, like the farmers are gonna use their experience or the uh, the use case for the tree that should grow like this, but now we have the technology that store all the data, collect all the data for the trees and make it more efficient, or it optimize for the base uh, productivity that will grow. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, there there is one one thing for sure which a farmer cannot control with all his knowledge is the weather. Mm. And uh, with the current uh, climate condition, the weather is getting more unpredictable and also more harsh. Um, uh, therefore, a controlled environment can at least these parameter uh, keep on track. And yes, and we are learning out of the data points. I mean, whenever we have a, a specific uh, uh, tray ready, we know from the data how long it took, what lightning we gave, how much water, and uh, based on this, we can optimize the parameter for the next time, for the next batch, to make it even better. Who is going to use the vertical farmers? Um, we see at the I mean, we are working at the moment with a, a couple of startups. For example, in cities like uh, Singapore or Hong Kong, where they would like to uh, produce the food which is required in the country also locally. So they have a scarcity of land. Mm. But this is not everything. And the meanwhile, we see also, especially in areas where we have very harsh environments. Mm. For example, in the near Middle East. Yeah. Mm. Or where we have uh, uh, regular floodings, mm. that there in these areas uh, are investments into vertical farms. Mm, I see. So, what will this kind of technology will change our future? Um, if we are looking at the moment uh, to the growing population, and the population will further grow also over the next years, um, we need to find ways also to produce food. With less resources involved, because also from the sustainability point, we have to reduce the consumption. If you see today um, that around 70% of the clean water is used for agriculture and food and beverage, um, and this having in mind with the growing population, we need to find a way to bring this down. And as I mentioned earlier, um, it can go down up to 95% in a, in a controlled environment. What you need in fresh water. That means with less, you can do more, also to take care of growing populations.
ท่านผู้ชมเห็นไหมครับว่าเรื่องราวของเทคโนโลยีเนี่ยไม่ได้มีแค่เรื่องราวล้ำๆที่ทําให้เราเห็น AR VR ครับแต่ว่าวันนี้เทคโนโลยีสามารถทําให้การเกษตรมีประสิทธิภาพมากยิ่งขึ้นรวมถึงลดการใช้วัตถุดิบและลดโลกร้อนด้วยเห็นเรื่องโลกร้อนแบบนี้ครับฝากทุกคนติดตามรายการคลิปเดอะเวิลด์ของน้องลูกปลาด้วยนะครับที่จะมาพูดถึงเรื่องราวของสิ่งแวดล้อมและอนาคตที่จะสดใสแบบไร้ฝุ่นครับอย่าลืมครับว่าเรื่องราวของเทคโนโลยีไม่ใช่แค่เทรนด์แต่เป็นเรื่องที่อยู่ในชีวิตประจําวันเราทุกคนสามารถติดตามอัปเดตข่าวสารใหม่ๆรวมถึงติดตามทุกเทรนด์เทคโนโลยีได้ผ่านเว็บไซต์ springnew.co.th ครับ